Hello everybody, Cadger Man here. I'm out at this trailhead here. I'm going to ride all around Red Feather Lakes looking for some geocaches today. Let's see what we can find. Red Feather Lakes is in far north Colorado, not all that far from Wyoming. There's lots of nice trails back here. I'm starting right here at the Mount Margaret Trail, and this is my route up, up here and then back around Dowdy Lake, and there's some more caches over in this area that I'm going to find. I wonder how many people ride across this skinny bridge on their bicycle. Not me, I'm walking it. The next geocache I'm going to look for is somewhere in this rock formation. It says climb up and then look down. It's a pretty good view up here. I've climbed all the way to the top of this rock formation and I spotted the cache which I'll show you in just a moment after I do the circle view here. There's my bike down there. It's actually in a hole right down there. Right down there. This cache hasn't been found in several years. And I can see why, it's pretty tricky. There's the log. Grab my stamp and I'll put it on it. It's pretty damp. It was 2020 it was last found. I really like this one. I think I'll give it a favorite point just because it's in such a cool place. Now it's time to climb back down to the bicycle and we'll head on to the next location. Sometimes it can be trickier going down than coming up. There are many trails here going all over the place in many directions. I'm going to head back down this way now. Fortunately, the GPS I have includes maps on it. The Frog Pond Trail sounds interesting. The geocache here was last found two years ago, and before that it was five years ago, and a bunch of DNFs in between those finds, and since then. I'll give it a try. Pretty nice view from up here. I haven't spotted a cache yet though. No cache here yet, but even if I don't find it, it's still quite a view up here, and definitely worth the climb. I'm right by the little guy's nest. Hello, little hummingbird. No joy on the geocache up there, but it was worth the climb just for the view. And that little hummingbird with the nest was amazing. There's some wonderful rock formations out this way. This one here is the next one down the trail, and there's a geocache here. Hopefully I'll have better luck with this one. Let's go see. I suspect this geocache 
is somewhere right here, but I sure haven't spotted it. And you know, I don't mind having a DNF when I'm out in such a fabulous place. No climbing involved this time. I'm glad to have made the find here. I'll get the log signed and then there's another cache just a little ways down the trail. Eighty-six feet. Ground Zero is there. I didn't see anything and that was Getting ready to expand my search, and I spotted this, which I initially thought was trash, but this is the geocache. I think I'll hide it in a better spot when I'm done with it. I found the geocaching log in the little black container. The little notebook maybe is for something else, but I signed both. I hit it at ground zero in this spot right here. Looks good to me. Now, where's my bicycle? This looks like a good place for a geocache. I wonder what this plant is before I venture back into it I'm going to look it up this is a raspberry bush in fact later this year it looks like it will be full of nice berries this is quite a good patch of raspberry bushes the nice little shiny cache it looks like it used to be on a branch. The log was full on this cache, so I'm adding a fresh log to it. I'm also going to add an O-ring to it. I always carry fresh logs and O-rings with me, just in case. Since the clock has just struck 12 noon, that means that's the end of this morning's cache ride. However, this afternoon, I'm going to find some more caches back this way but that's for another episode so thanks for watching this long please hit that subscribe button and the like button down below so until we meet again see you on the trail maybe one like this go find some caches today take care everyone so long